<clears throat> Are you sure we're recording? I hate you. It's all the numbers. Okay, there we go. Shut up. The reason why I'm laughing is because this is our third video today, and the first two videos had two takes. No. Each. Each. So, yeah. All right, welcome back, everybody. We are going to talk about some toy room and game room additions. additions. Little updates we made to our room. Yeah, well, yeah, it did, yeah. We're gonna do a bigger game room tour. It has really changed in the last year, like oh my God. drastically changed. So we can't yep. wait to bring that out yep. towards the end of the year, probably around Christmas time. So that'll put the pressure on me to get some yep. so let's, paintings done. So let's talk about the toys first. Yes. I did add, for people um, that are new to the channel, go check out my toy room video. Yeah. Um, I don't have a huge toy room because it's slash workout room at the same exactly. time, right? Exactly. Um, but it's, there's a lot of nostalgic toys from the 80s and 90s. Yeah. More 80s. Oh know. yeah, more 80s. Um, we never did look up to see when this stuff came out. I do believe though that these were like mid to not late yeah mid to late 80s. I'm I, almost certain. Oh, I don't think it's any older than 86. Yeah, because Tony was little when he got one. He was two or three, so yeah, that makes sense. You had a hair on you. What am I gonna do? Why don't you have hair? Beard hair. <laughs> yeah, so I know you looked for a date, but there is no um, trademark stamp with a with a date that I can see anywhere in this. Yeah. I just recently cleaned these. Dennis. <laughs> thank you. Dennis, thank you. But also, last time Dennis was over, one of the last times, because he's been over a bunch of times, he goes over and checks it out. He looks on the shelf. He's like, why don't you clean your toys, you fucking asshole? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, me and Dennis worked out a bit of a trade. He had, well, I had a, a big screen TV sitting around and we weren't using it. No. Nope. And I was giving it to him and being the asshole that he is, he found some more toys. Yes. We so didn't need you to find more toys. We he found some more toys in his parents' basement and then so he gave me the Tonkas that he had. Anyways, these are our toys. Did you look them up? Look up the date. No, I don't look need it up. To. Look it up. Oh I need my to know. God. I need to know. Keep talking to the people then. So, um, Dennis gave me, or traded me, seven Tonkas. Um, we're going to take a look at them all on the shelf, but this one here is my pride and joy. This is what, this is the one that I had when I was a kid. I absolutely love this thing. This thing went through hell with me. Mine, I destroyed it. So I don't know how this one looks so good. I assume Dennis didn't play with it. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was missing the top, the steering wheel inside, that's all gone. It was all rusted. It was beat the shit there. It was so bad that they just chopped it out. Okay. The dump. Okay. Here's what I'm seeing about these that they're looking like they went from 47 to 77. But it's definitely not 47. No. So I'm assuming this is more of a manufactured in 77. I... I wonder how long they sold them for after that. Like maybe that's when well, they first here's manufactured the them. the thing. Or if you um, guys know more. They still manufacture a, yeah. a version of these. A shittier version in my opinion because I bought one for my son. Now, I bought one for my son because of the nostalgia of how much I love these things. I bought one for him and the difference is between the two, like for the most part, a lot of the metal is the same, except for a few key parts. This part is plastic. I love how these lock. Yes. I love that. And also the bucket and the handle on the new ones are plastic. Yeah. These ones are all metal. All metal. I can't even tell you how much I use mine. Like these ones you can actually dig with. You can get rid of the ground and you can just, oh, just yeah. muscle up big bucket load get of Get your tetanus shots. Sand. They're all made of metal. Oh yeah. Okay. It, I looked up, I looked up the, the lettering on the side here. XMB 975. 
I thought that might be a clue. And it is. It said Mita, Mighty Taka Dump Trucks 1973 to 82. I know this is not a dump truck, nope. but uh, the tire had the letters and number roll coated white and it said 1973 to 82. Okay, I'm guessing this is more closer to the 82. Yeah. Because Dennis is a couple of years older than me. And I had mine. It's hard to say because now I'm seeing 99 here, but no, that I wouldn't make sense because Dennis would have been playing with this in his 20s and I don't <laughs> think it was. I so, would. <laughs> yes, you would. And he probably would too. Who am I kidding? So yeah, we're we're guesstimating it's probably going to be somewhere early to mid 80s, all of these, pretty much. Definitely. When I had to guess, I was I was honestly thinking 86 in my head. Yeah, it could be. Because I was born in 78. And, and going when I when I think I got it for Christmas and all that. This is the one. This is the one right here. I, I remember saying, because I, I bought one, I have eight. Tonka's on a shelf in my workout room and we're gonna put pictures up yes. or you're gonna roll some film um, There's one dump truck in there that I bought from a yard sale for mm -hmm. five bucks I think it was I don't even and think it was it five was, bucks. It, yeah, it might have been two bucks. It, it's yeah. in really rough shape It's quite rusted. It's missing the glass. It's all this stuff But I, I got that and I didn't have the dump truck when I was a kid This is the one I had when I was mm -hmm. a kid. So I love this. I was like if I ever find one in good shape I'm gonna probably get it as long as oh, it doesn't yeah. break the bank. Exactly. Now saying that, I don't think I've ever seen one of these in this good of shape. No, this is in great shape. Now, he definitely played also, with them because we got to clean the mud off the tires from oh, yeah, when yeah. he was a child. It was awesome. But all of Dennis's toys, because I bought quite a bit of Dennis's toys from when he was a child, he saved them all and I bought most of them from him. They're all in really great shape. Yeah. The the bucket loader is something that's really near and dear to my heart, but um, I also, if I could get one more, I would get the, I think it's the grader. I think that's oh, what it's yeah? called. You know what they would plow the roads here yeah. in the wintertime yep. there? Put the grader down. Yep. There's, yeah, if I could get one of those in really good shape, that That'd would be, be cool. one that I'd like to have. Now, was there an excavator or a crane one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I all think, kinds of them. I thought my brother had that one. Oh, you might have. Yes. Yeah. Um, I have two dump trucks. Um, like I said, one dump truck I got at the uh, yard sale, and that's the only one I got at the yard sale. And the rest of them I got from Dennis. Dennis, I got I got this one. I got a dump truck that's in great shape. Mm -hmm. Also, um, the Tonka Super Tanker, which is I believe like a gas oh, tanker. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> transport trailer I wish we style. would have taken pictures of them before we clean them. Yeah. Um, I have two tractor trailer Canadian tire, Canadian tire yeah. ones. One's complete. The other one is missing just a plastic piece on the top. Yep. Both in great shape. Oh yeah. There's a Jeep towing a trailer with a boat. boat. Great shape. Yeah. And then there's one van with a carrot with a, a three and a half inch figure like a G.I. Joe figure that goes inside yeah. and he's telling me that as a race car driver from back in the day. Oh, okay. I don't know. So Maybe you guys can fill, a, fill us in if you yeah. know who it is. So. so we'll pan all that in there. Yeah. But I can't even tell you how much or how happy I am to have, have this. We just cleaned them up today and I wiped them all down with a damp rag and then I, yeah. I took like a... Extra virgin olive oil? Extra virgin olive oil. Because it's older, and I don't know if you can see. I'll turn it. Yeah. Very who's digging a lot of stuff. You there, got some. Rust. There's bare metal and very small amounts of rust. Yeah. I call it patina. It's got a patina. It's basically just to protect it because my game room, my toy room is in my basement. It is damp here, especially in the summertime. Oh yeah. I do not want them to rust more. No, exactly. Especially down where it is in in good condition as it is in. I want to keep it that way. Yeah, exactly. But I love this thing. I I'm love sure this some thing. keeners would take it apart and paint it, but to me, no, 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 no. that's mm. ruining the value of it. All these little dings, all these little scratches are proof that it was played with and loved. And I love that about it. I would never, I've never. I would never it. either. I, I know yeah. some people want them as like mint, mint shelf pieces. I've seen but to people me, repaint is, them. 
Yeah. And I think I've seen them paint them in an orange. Now, I don't know if there was an original Could be. version of this where it wasn't orange, but I see people see people that do paint them in an orange and an orange and all it's, it's almost a, a hunter's orange. Yeah. I know what you mean. Orange. Yeah, you know what I mean. Eh? Yeah. You might be able to find a picture of one. Yeah. But I would never change this because this is what I have with Exactly. From when I was a kid. But do you agree? I all played those with little... this in the snow, in the mud, yes! everything. It went through hell with me. But do you agree it should be left in its authentic condition, like scratches and all? That's Absolutely. what makes it For cool. me. For me. This is what. Yeah. yeah. To this me, that's is... all those little marks of, your, of, you know, a person's childhood. This is a time I'm... capsule. Yes, this is right here. Exactly. This is from my childhood. Yeah. And, and it, is this one the first one, the first one you cleaned today? It is. It is. I it knew is. it was. I knew it was because you were talking about and it. I, so. I told. Uh, well, when Dennis brought them over, he brought them all over in his trunk. And he, as he was taking them out and handing them to me, I swear he had a story for each one he took out. I remember when I, I would ride down. I would sit in the dump truck and roll down the driveway in this thing. Oh yeah. I would do this. <laughs> just, oh, the Canadian Tire uh, tractor trailer. He said I put all my GI Joes in there, and then we go in. Blast in, open up the door, they'd all come out and kick ass and stuff like that. Oh. Still, there was a story for every one of them there, and that just so goes cool. to show like how much like boys love their toys. Yep, yep, yeah. So these are our toys. They're so cool, and we can't thank Dennis enough. So, yes, that was that's the first edition. The seven Tonkas. I had to put another shelf in my toy room just to have the Tonkas in there to display. Mm -hmm. And we also have a painting. We do. Do we want to move the tank? Yes. Actually, we're going to do a quick break that's going to feel like this to you guys, but I feel like I'm going to have to move my camera up to get the whole thing in. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'll put my Tonka back. Put your Tonka back. I'll put my Tonka back. <clears throat> For part two, um, the Tonkas, that was the toy room. So we have an addition to the game room. We do. Finally. Finally. Finally! Only been bugging me forever and I started it back in what, May? It was a little slow. And then I left it for like months. Yeah, so. I got another painting done. Um, this is blowing up a little bit on my Facebook. People were really excited <laughs> about it. I shared it on a, a women's gamer group on Facebook. Yep. And I think I had like 500 people like it and like people asking to buy it and I was like, can't my husband will kill me yeah so i did a painting there's a reason there's a reason we're wearing the shirts we're wearing today yes uh i haven't yet done a harley quinn painting although i think we've decided maybe we have to maybe i'd that love means... to see you do a harley quinn yeah shush i i feel like now i need to are you have you changed your mind and you want a harley quinn painting now i don't know what you're gonna do what are my options Harley, well, you said now you need a Harley Quinn hanging beside this one. Beside the Joker. Beside the Joker. Anyways, here's my Joker. I don't know if you get it all in there. Oh yeah, I got it all in there. Yeah. Trust me. So, as most people are, and myself included, that people were blown away. Do you remember the artist that you've... <sighs> Kind, it's not copied, but Nobody you were inspired, was inspired by. off of because I we'll did. We'll pop it up. Yeah. Because Phil actually, Phil actually like shared Alan the, Ross or something, something like that. Phil, because me and Phil are big comic book guys. Yeah. And Phil shared the photo with his brother, and his brother's an even bigger. Uh, He's a big comic. Joker fan. Yes. He's a big. And Joker he said fan. that looks. I blah, think blah, it was blah. Alan Ross. Alan Ross inspired. I'll have to pop And then up. Phil was like showing us some artwork and I'm like, that's the picture she looked at yeah. when she tried to do this. Exactly. What I did change on it was there was no green in the hair or the eyebrows. Um, it was more of a very dark version, like very monochromatic with very few, like very little color in it. I bumped up the color on the lips too. Yep. I added this bottom part because there was no shoulders. It was more meant to be just the face coming out of like the darkness and everything else was in shadow. And there was no, like I said, no green in the hair. And I added like the eyes were a different color too, but I wanted to make it go with the rest of the painting. So there's actually probably three, four, if not five different colors in the eyes, but I wanted to all kind of seamlessly blend in. And, touch yeah, I know. and then I also did put some subtle flesh tones 
in here, here, forehead, a little bit around the chin, just because I loved that Joker with the like when he'd smile or whatever that you'd see the creases of where the paint was starting to wear away from you know constantly emoting. Well, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I kind of added that in too and made it inspired it off of that one, but made it my own. Yes. In that way, so yeah, that is the Joker. Dennis, I will quote Dennis on saying, he said he has to see it in person, but from the pictures that he's seen on Facebook, he thinks it is your best. Oh, I know. One yet. And Which is as saying, you show pictures and video or whatever you yeah. do, because this is the fourth face up on the wall in the game room. Yep. Um, this one looks absolutely amazing, as do the other three, but this one actually makes the other three look not that good. Yes, <laughs> I, I, it's hanging beside Wolverine, and I looked at it hanging beside Wolverine, and I was like, I need to do a new Wolverine. The Wolverine is awesome. It turned I love out really that good. Wolverine. I'll never get rid of that Wolverine. Yes. If you end up doing another one for in this section, that will just be moved somewhere else. Exactly. I feel like that Wolverine now needs to be an old man Logan. And that's what I'm thinking. I want the, I want the, like no, this with the claws. old man Logan is like this. Well, okay, we'll do that. he's got it up in front of his face. Either way. There's a comic cover. I need like those yeah. claws in. Yeah. And, and I do think they're bone claws. Yes, yes. Yeah. I want them in there. I just, I think that version would make more sense. And then you said you love the Hulk, but you think I could do an even better version oh, now. Oh, I, and mean, I think just I because could you get the, you can, you get the flesh color better now. Yeah, yeah. I think you could make it more realistic now. I'm in the process um, of working on a Parasite Eve reimagined cover art because yes. I want a more third birthday, Aabria, yeah. more modernized, and I want that background where all the uh, mitochondria and the cells are. I want that more, like, a little more focal, because in the background of the case, you really gotta yeah. look, you're like, when oh, you look those at, are red blood cells. Uh, PS1 cover of Parasite Eve number one there. Yeah. It's a very, it's, it's, it's iconic, but it's also plain. Yes. It's, there's not a lot of detail in there. Exactly. And you're just trying to modernize it. You've been actually struggling a little bit on this because each literally just started. I did. Today. I did. Yeah. Or yesterday, was it? Yesterday. Yesterday. So now you're like, you're in your own head and you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're doubting yourself already. Yes. But I'm asking people to give Jen some confidence in the comments tell her how good this Joker painting is because I absolutely love it all my friends think it's awesome a lot of people on Facebook but it's for some reason she still needs a little bit of help on her confidence yes I th <laughs> this is part of it though as it this is okay when people say to me you're an artist I it feels still fraudulent. I'm like, yeah, I paint, but am I an artist per se? Like, I don't know. I could not do that. Yeah. So, but I think if you think everything you do is amazing and you don't doubt yourself a little bit, where's the room for growth? Yeah. You know what I mean? So I always and think there's room for growth. Speaking of growth, um, we'll pop up the pictures or the video or whatever you're going to do of the Hulk. Yeah. And then the Joker. And the difference between the two, or if you want to do your original Joker, my original Joker, her original Joker, and then the new Joker right now, because I actually told her she could sell the original Joker. Um, and I did. And this sold. is a difference of five years. Yeah. This is five years, so I can only imagine how but good if we. You I'm just, excited to see where continue, five years go. If you just continue to develop yourself mm -hmm. without getting too frustrated. You have talent. You I think once I can talent. get those flesh tones down and get those transitions down, yep. then I'll be feeling that much better about it. I hope you guys liked our little updates. Uh, we, like I said, we'll do a bigger around Christmas time. If Jen can get her ass together there, get some paintings done. I'm trying. Done Clock's some. ticking, dude. I know. <laughs> You have anything else to say? No, I got my beer. I'm good. Okay, cool. 
All right, guys. Thanks so much for checking it out. Mm. All right. We will talk to you next time. Say game on, Scott. Game on, Scott.